Sheraton Hotels and Resorts is an international hotel chain. The chain was founded in 1937 in Springfield, Massachusetts by Ernest Henderson and Robert Moore. And to this very day, the chain is still alive and healthy. So, how did it become so popular? Let's find out. Early years. The origins of Sheraton Hotels date to 1933 when Harvard classmates Ernest Henderson and Robert Moore purchased the Continental Hotel in Cambridge, Massachusetts. In 1937, Henderson and Moore purchased the Standard Investing Corporation and the International Equities Corporation, combining them into the Standard Equity Corporation, the, the company through which they would run their hotels. Also in 1937, they purchased their second hotel and the first as part of the new company, the Stonehaven Hotel in Springfield, Massachusetts, a converted apartment building. Sheraton dates its founding to that year and considers that property its first hotel. The chain got its name from the third hotel the pair acquired in Boston in 1939. It had a large lightened sign on the roof saying Sheraton Hotel, which was too expensive to change. Instead, Henderson and Moore decided to call all their hotels by that name. Henderson and Moore purchased Boston's famed Copley Plaza Hotel in 1941 and continued expanding rapidly, buying existing properties along the east coast from the east coast from Maine to Florida. In 1946, the Standard Equities Corporation merged with the United States Realty and Improvement Corporation forming the Sheraton Corporation of America, which became the first hotel, the first hotel chain to be listed on the New York Stock Exchange in 1947. Expansion In 1949, Sheraton expanded internationally, buying the Ford Hotels chain, with three properties in Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal. They quickly resold the Toronto and Ottawa properties to finance their continued Canadian expansion in 1950, paying $4.8 million to purchase Cardi Hotels, a chain of six properties in Ontario and Quebec. In 1956, Sheraton paid $30 million to buy the Epley Hotel Company, which was, the, which was then the largest privately held business in the United States with 22 properties across six Midwestern states. Sheraton retained 10 of the largest hotels and immediately resold the other 12. That same year, Sheraton acquired its first motels, purchasing two properties in the suburbs of Syracuse, New York. In 1957, Sheraton, which had previously, fo which had previously focused on acquiring existing hotels, opened its first newly built hotel the Philadelphia Sheraton Hotel. In 1958, Sheraton became the first hotel, cha hotel chain to centralize and computerize its reservations when it introduced reservation to the hotel industry's first automatic electronic reservation system. In 1959, Sheraton acquired its first properties outside North America, purchasing four hotels owned by the Matson Lines on Waikiki Beach in Honolulu, Hawaii, the Moana Hotel, the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, the Surfrider Hotel, and the Princess Colony Hotel. That same year, Sheraton opened its first newly built motel, marketed as a highway hotel, the Sheraton Inn, located in Binghamton, New York. The early 1960s saw the arrival of the first Sheraton hotels outside the U.S. and Canada, with the opening of the Sheraton Tel Aviv Hotel in Israel in March 1961 and two Caribbean properties in 1962, the Sheraton Kingston Hotel in Jamaica and the Sheraton British Colonial Hotel in Nassau, Bahamas. In 1962, Sheraton created a franchise division primarily to operate Sheraton Motor Inns large highway motels providing free parking. In 1963, Sheraton opened its first hotel in South America, the Makudu Sheraton Hotel outside Caracas, Venezuela. In 1965, the 100th Sheraton property, the Sheraton Boston Hotel, opened. In 1966, Sheraton opened its first hotel in the Middle East, the Kuwait Sheraton Hotel. 
1967, Sheraton unveiled Reservatron 2, a computer system for personalized reservations. That same year, Sheraton opened its first hotel in Asia, the Sheraton Philippines Hotel in Molina. Its first hotel in Europe, the Sheraton du Cap Hotel on the island of Corsica in France, and its first hotels in Australia, two Sheraton Motor Hotels in Melbourne and Sydney. ITT Port Purchase The multinational conglomerate ITT purchased the chain in 1968. That same year, ITT sold 18 aging Sheraton properties. Under ITT's ownership, Sheraton quickly moved away from ownership and operation of its properties to a new model of franchising and management, as the chain expanded greatly both in the U.S. and abroad. In late 1969, Sheraton introduced the hotel industry's first nationwide toll-free number, which displaced 200 local Sheraton reservation numbers. The radio jingle for 8003253 The radio jingle for 8003253535 ran throughout the decade and into the 80s, but the jingle's lifespan went even beyond. In 1970, Sheraton introduced the Sheraton Towers concept, a line of luxury hotel within a hotel. Facilities designed for business travelers and located within Sheraton's largest and most exclusive hotels. The first Sheraton Towers to open was within the chain's flagship Sheraton Boston Hotel. That same year, Sheraton opened its first hotel in North Africa, the Cario Sheraton Hotel and Casino. In 1971, Sheraton opened its first hotels in continental Europe, the Sheraton Stockholm Hotel, and the Sheraton Copenhagen Hotel. In 1972, Sheraton opened its first hotel in sub-Saharan Africa, the Sheraton Montfebe Palace in Yandone, Cameroon. In 1977 to 1997, the company was headquartered at 60 State Street in Boston. In 1985, Sheraton became the first Western chain to operate a hotel bearing the name of an international company in the People's Republic of China when it assumed management of the Great Wall Hotel in Beijing, a financially troubled two-year-old Chinese-American joint venture which became the Great Wall Sheraton. By 1987, the New York Times described it as, a 50, year, as, described it as 50 years old, the world's largest hotel chain and consumer-driven. The chain was rebranded as ITT Sheraton in 1990. ITT Sheraton Luxury Collection On January 13, 1992, ITT Sheraton designated 28 of its premier hotels and 33 of the, of the Sheraton Towers as the ITT Sheraton Luxury Collection. The flagship of the division was the St. Riggs in New York City. In 1994, ITT Sheraton purchased a controlling interest in the Italian CIGA chain, the Compagnia Italiana Grande Albrighe, or Italian Grand Hotels Company. The chain had begun by operating hotels in Italy, but overexpanded across Europe just as recession hit, and had been seized from, pre from its previous owner, the Aga Khan, by its creditors. The majority of these hotels were, pla were placed in the ITT Sheraton Luxury Collection, though a few were placed in the Sheraton Division. Four points by Sheraton. In April 1995, ITT Sheraton introduced a new mid-range hotel brand, Four Points by Sheraton, to replace the designation of certain hotels as Sheraton Inns. Starwood Purchase In 1998, Starwood acquired a ITT Sheraton for $13.3 billion, topping, topping an offer by rival Hilton. Under Starwood's leadership, Sheraton began renovating many hotels and expanding the brand's footprint. Starwood also began marketing the luxury collection as a completely separate brand, even though it contained a large number of hotels still named Sheraton. Most of these properties have since been renamed. Only three such hotels remain today, Sheraton Addis in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Sheraton Grande Succumit in Bangkok, Thailand, and Sheraton Kuwait in Kuwait City, Kuwait. Also in 1998, Sheraton joined with the Arabella Hospital hospitality group in Germany to create Arabella Sheraton, a joint venture under which 14 Arabella hotels in Germany, Switzerland, and Spain were rebranded as Arabella Sheraton Hotels. In 1999, Sheraton bought the outstanding shares in CIGA, giving it a, giving it 
complete ownership. Marriott Purchase. In 2016, Marriott International purchased Starwood Hotels, and the newly merged company again became the world's largest hotel and resort company. Although the Sheraton brand expresses quality in Asia, Asian properties have made the U.S. market more problematic. And there's the history of Sheraton. How did it become so popular? Well, I think with all those um, deals and acquisitions that they did with all the other ho popular hotel brands, I think that's how they became very popular. Anyways, with that being said, I think this is where I'm going to end off this video. If you guys haven't enjoyed this video, please make sure to like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the video every single day. And also, if you guys would like to... And if you guys would like to check out my social media pages, all of my social media accounts will be linked down in below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!